Hi guys, it's Amanda Watson from MrsWatsonEducation.com and today I'm going to show you how to get rid of the background from your pictures so you can use them in all sorts of fun projects, specifically your Bitmoji virtual classrooms. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where I go to get the program that I have found easiest to use. There's so many options available online and on phone apps, but the best way I've done this is just by searching background, sorry, eraser into my toolbar and you can see there's a bunch of options there but the one I like to use the most is called remove.bg I have it pinned but I want to show you how to find it in the search and this is what it looks like it's um, you can buy different levels and packages for this program but the free one works for all of my needs so far so that's what I'm going to show you how to use so it's as simple as this I'm going to go here and upload the image that I have chosen. So I'm going to pick an image of my dog, um, Rory, because she's adorable and I want to show you what that looks like. So that was the original image. And now I have a cutout of her with the background removed. As simple as that. If there was a part of the background of the picture that I wanted to um, include that maybe it sensed there was a background and got rid of, I can restore it just as simple as that. Or if the background, and I could change the size of this, um, didn't quite erase completely, and that happens in a lot of the pictures you might find online, um, or some of the small details, you can obviously go back and erase that as well. So it has some features. There's a lot of backgrounds you could add to the picture, but I don't use those. Um, that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the image. It's gonna go to my computer. So now I have this saved in my files as my downloads, let's see right here, as remove background preview. So it's the same picture, this is the original, and then that's the one without the background. So now, what do I do with that? Well, I'm gonna go to my Google Slides, because that's what I use. You can also use this in PowerPoint or any other Canva kind of um, graphic design software. I'm gonna upload the picture. I'm gonna go to my computer, click on that one, upload it in, and now I have a picture of my dog that I can insert into this slideshow presentation or, you know, put into my Bitmoji classroom, which is probably why you're watching this video. As always, when you're doing this, be um, conscious of copyright, and if you're using your own pictures, that's awesome, easy to do. If you're finding other pictures online, be aware of those regulations and how much fair use for teachers actually gets you. Hopefully this um, video helps you understand how to do that and make fun, creative of projects using your own pictures or others you find without that background that sometimes gets in the way. Thank you so much for watching and remember go ahead and find my blog, follow it, subscribe so you can see all the cool updates I'm doing and I hope um, you continue sharing and learning with me as we go through this thing we call education and teaching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.